Ever pondered over the most bizarre and spine-chilling exoplanets in our cosmos? Today we delve deeper into the universe to explore these celestial bodies. Exoplanets, for those scratching their heads, are planets that orbit a star outside our solar system. They come in all shapes and sizes, and some of them are downright peculiar and even a bit frightening. We're about to embark on a cosmic journey to five such extraordinary worlds. First, we'll visit Kepler-10c, a colossal planet that's thrown experts for a loop leading them to coin the term Mega-Earths. Then we'll brave the icy wilderness of Ogle 2005 Blog 390 LB, where life as we know it would instantly freeze. Next, we journey to PSRB 1620-2026b, a planet that's almost as old as the universe itself, residing in one of the most crowded neighborhoods in space. Following that, we'll touch down on Kepler 438b, the most Earth-like planet in terms of radius and mass, where water might just exist on the surface. Lastly, we'll swing by Tress 4b, a planet so large and puffy it's about the same density as cork, and so hot it could melt lead, these are just a few of the countless wonders that await us beyond our solar system. So buckle up for a cosmic journey to the most strange and terrifying exoplanets. Our first stop is Kepler-10c, a mega-Earth situated 560 light-years from our home in the constellation Draco. Let's take a moment to grasp that concept, a planet that's over 17 times the weight of Earth and more than twice as large. That's like stacking Earth on top of itself almost 20 times over. Just imagine the views from the surface of Kepler-10c, with a sky that's likely filled with stars from the Milky Way. Its year lasts for a mere 45 days as it orbits its star Kepler-10 at a blistering pace. What's most fascinating about Kepler-10c is not just its enormous size, but the fact that it challenges our understanding of planet formation. How could such a colossal world form? The theories we have for the formation of our own planet seem inadequate when faced with the reality of this mega-Earth. The gravity on Kepler-10c must be intense considering its hefty weight. You'd feel as if you were carrying a mountain on your shoulders. And speaking of mountains, we can only speculate about the dramatic landscapes that might exist on this gigantic planet. Towering mountain ranges that dwarf Everest and vast oceans deeper than our Mariana Trench could be features of this mega-world. Its discovery has stirred up quite the storm in the world of astronomy. Kepler-10c is so unusual that it's opened up a new category of exoplanets christened Mega-Earths. This isn't just a new discovery, it's a new frontier in our exploration and understanding of the universe. Kepler-10c is a testament to the sheer variety and scale of celestial bodies out there in the cosmos. It's a reminder that the universe doesn't always adhere to our rules or expectations, there's always something new, something strange, something incredibly fascinating waiting to be discovered. Kepler-10c, with its massive weight and size, inaugurates a new category of exoplanets, the Mega-Earths. It's a humbling reminder that we still have so much to learn about our universe. So let's keep exploring, let's keep discovering, because who knows what else is out there waiting to surprise us. Next, we journey over 20,000 light-years away to the constellation of Sagittarius, where we find Ogle 2005 Blog 390 LB, a frozen wasteland. This far-off world orbits a red dwarf, one of the universe's smallest and coolest stars. This faint star provides little heat, leaving Ogle 2005 Blog 390 LB in a state of perpetual deep freeze. With surface temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling negative 220 degrees Celsius, or negative 364 degrees Fahrenheit, this planet is one of the coldest known to man. Ice rules supreme here. The entire landscape is a stark white tableau, a frosty vista of glaciers, canyons, and vast plains punctuated by towering mountains of ice. The surface of this frozen wasteland is so cold that any life as we know it would be instantly turned into an ice cube. But don't let the surface fool you. Beneath the hostile frozen exterior, things could be a lot more lively. The planet could have a warm core generating heat, melting the inner ice and possibly creating a giant subsurface ocean. Tidal heating caused by the gravitational pull of orbiting moons could also keep the planet's interior warm. Imagine a vast under-ice ocean swirling in eternal darkness, warmed by the planet's core and tidal forces. This under-ice ocean could be teeming with life. Life that has adapted to survive in such extreme conditions. Conditions that would be fatal to most life forms on Earth. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? 
a frozen wasteland on the surface, but a potential hotbed of life beneath the ice. An icy desert above, a warm, possibly life-bearing ocean below, it's a stark contrast that perfectly encapsulates the surprises that space has in store for us. The icy Ogle 2005 Blag 390LB, while hostile on the surface, may harbor life deep beneath its frozen exterior. The universe continues to astound us with its ability to harbor life in the most unlikely of places. Our cosmic journey takes us next to PSR B 1600-2026b, a planet nearly as old as the universe itself. Not a teenager, not a grandparent, but an ancient enduring entity that's been around for a staggering 13 billion years. This cool planet is more than twice as old as Earth's four and a half billion years. Imagine the stories it could tell. Formed around a young sun-like star, this planet came into existence barely one billion years after the birth of our universe during the Big Bang. Just think about it. When our home, the Earth, was still an unformed mass of cosmic dust, PSR B 1620-26b was already there, orbiting its star, witnessing the majestic unfolding of the cosmos. But don't let its age fool you. PSR B 1620-26b is not a quiet, serene retiree. Its life is anything but peaceful. It resides in an unlikely, rough neighborhood, a bustling metropolis of the cosmos. It orbits a peculiar pair of burned-out stars in the crowded core of a cluster of more than 100,000 stars. Each star, a story, each light, a tale of cosmic drama. Despite the chaos and the crowd, Passar B 1620-26b has managed to survive and thrive. It has weathered the cosmic storms, stood firm against the gravitational tug of war, and emerged as a testament to the enduring nature of celestial bodies. It's a silent, timeless observer of the cosmic ballet, a stoic sentinel from the dawn of time. And while we, here on Earth, worry about the passing years and the fleeting nature of life, PSR B 1600-2026b, this ancient planet continues its eternal dance around its star. Unperturbed, unyielding, and unending, it orbits its peculiar pair of stars, a beacon of endurance amidst a sea of flickering lights. So, next time you gaze up at the night sky, spare a thought for a PSR B 1600-2026b. Remember that in the vast cosmic arena, there are worlds that have been spinning and dancing for billions of years. PSR B 1600-2026b, a testament to the enduring nature of celestial bodies, continues to orbit amidst a crowded cluster of stars. We now journey to Kepler. 438b, the most Earth-like planet in terms of radius and mass. Imagine a world so similar to ours that it's got astronomers buzzing with excitement. That's Kepler 438b for you, a celestial body that bears an uncanny resemblance to our home planet in terms of both its size and weight. Lying in the constellation of Lyra, this intriguing exoplanet has an Earth Similarity Index, or ESI for short, of 0.88. To put that into perspective, that's the highest score for a confirmed exoplanet to date. For those of you not familiar with the term, ESI is a measure of how closely an exoplanet resembles Earth, with one being a perfect match. But that's not all. Kepler 438b is also situated in the habitable zone of its host star, Kepler 438. This is the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. And as we know, where there's water, there's a chance for life. Now don't get too excited, we're not packing our bags for a cosmic vacation just yet. While Kepler 438b's location and size make it a promising candidate for Earth 2.0, there's still much we don't know about this distant world. We can't confirm the presence of an atmosphere, let alone one that could support life. And with a distance of nearly 470 light years separating us, it's not like we can just pop over for a visit. But despite these challenges, Kepler 438b continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. It's a tantalizing hint of what might be out there, waiting to be discovered in the vast expanse of the cosmos. As we continue to explore the universe, who knows what other Earth-like worlds we might stumble upon? And who's to say that one of these planets won't turn out to be a true twin of our home, a second Earth nestled among the stars? Kepler 438b, with its striking similarity to Earth, offers us a tantalizing glimpse of what other habitable worlds may look like. Our final stop is Tress 4b, a puffy planet located 1,400 light-years away 
in the Hercules constellation. This celestial marvel is one of the largest exoplanets ever discovered, astonishingly over 1.7 times the size of Jupiter, the gas giant of our solar system. But what's truly intriguing about Tress 4b is not just its colossal size, but its incredibly low density. Despite being significantly larger than Jupiter, this exoplanet has a density akin to that of cork. Yes, you heard that right, cork. The common material we use to stopper our wine bottles, this startling characteristic has earned Tress 4b its puffy designation. Now you might be wondering, how can a planet be so puffy? The answer lies in its extreme heat and close proximity to its sun. Tress 4b is a scorching 1,260 degrees Celsius due to being just 4.5 million miles away from its sun. To put this into perspective, that's about 20 times closer than Mercury is to our sun. This blistering heat causes the planet's gases to expand, resulting in its puffiness. In a mere three Earth days, Tress 4b completes an orbit around its sun. This swift journey combined with its unique characteristics made Tress 4b both the largest known planet and the planet with the lowest known density at the time of its discovery. Tress 4b, with its cork-like density and enormous size, leaves us with a sense of awe at the incredible diversity of exoplanets. Our cosmic journey has taken us to some of the most strange and terrifying exoplanets in the universe. We've explored the mega-Earth, Kepler 10c, a planet so massive it's challenged the theories of planet formation. We've endured the bone-chilling cold of Ogle 2005 Blog 390 LB, a frozen wasteland where life as we know it would freeze instantly. We've traveled back in time to Peace RB 162026 b a planet almost as old as the universe itself orbiting a peculiar pair of burned-out stars. We've marveled at Kepler 438b, the most Earth-like planet in terms of radius and mass, and imagined a world where water could exist on its surface. And we've been astounded by the paradox of Tress 4b, a puffy planet, with a density similar to cork, yet scorching hot due to its proximity to its star. The universe is a vast and wondrous place, full of strange and terrifying exoplanets waiting to be discovered. 